guys, so I'm just outside the uh, Fish Kitchen 1854 in uh, Massicoma near Blackwood, South Wales. Um, so my order's in, um, looking forward to it. And they've got a nice little uh, fried and I'll try it, I'm really looking forward to this. And I will uh, hope that I'll see you in a few minutes. Stay good, guys. Hello guys, so I've just been to uh, Fish Kitchen 1854 and I've bought a few little treats. They're also doing a fry it. You fry it and I'll try it for me. So we're on the Taco Tuesdays. So I'm looking forward to trying the Taco Tuesdays. Um, we've got fish and chips and I've got a cheesy special for my daughter. So I'm just gonna set up shop and uh, I'll come and join you back in two seconds. So. We recording? Yes. Right then guys, so let's get tucked at this. Now what I'm gonna do first is I'm not actually gonna touch this, but I'm gonna show you what, what's inside here. So this is, I believe, cheese special box fill up the box Ooh. so we've got some battered halloumi uh, mozzarella sticks and some brie wedges now I'm not going to eat this one um, I know what it tastes like they taste fantastic I actually love battered halloumi as well so it's really good um, brie wedges is one of my favourites mozzarella I can give or take it a little bit um, but i got my little daughter she's on the other side of the camera so she's, she's smiling at me going Where's my cheese? So I know this is one of my girls' little favourite little, uh, one of her actual favourite shops. Um, and this being the, one of the main reasons. So I'm not going to eat this one. Uh, but you can see, it looks absolutely fantastic. And that's going to be for my little girl. So, we're going to go on the prize. Let's have a look at bad boy. So, we got fish and chips. Oh, look at that, guys. Look at that. That looks absolutely fantastic. Slice of lemon. That's, you know, it just adds a bit of class, extra class. So, let's take it top off the of peas. Start cool them down because I find peas can be a little bit too hot sometimes for me. So, we're going to just start letting them cool down. Well, I've actually got some homemade tartar sauce as well. So, I'm going to open that up. The only problem with eating the can is you need like a table, a portable table. Let's just make these up. So this is the homemade tartar sauce. Right then. Let's give it a go, let's give it a go. I mean, look at the spikes on that batter. That batter looks absolutely fantastic. I mean, spiking up lovely. It's cooked. That is fantastic. The flavour on the batter is really, really nice. It's got a nice crispness to it. The oil's nice and clean. That that to me is so, so important. It was so well and good having massive portions or cheap fish and chips and then not having that quality with good quality oil and stuff. So the oil's managed really well. I mean, let's have a look at these chips a minute. These chips are looking at me. They're really puffed out on the outside. So being blanched. My little girl is, is loving it. how stringy the, stringy the mozzarella is behind me just there. Sorry if you see me laughing. Right. I'll throw up. They are first class. They got that absolutely spot on. So new potatoes, we're in new potato season, they tend to be really, really soft. These guys have got that absolutely spot on. So the crisp is bang on. Um, the flavour is lovely. I love the flavour of new potatoes. Maybe a touch more salt and vinegar for, for me, but the salt and vinegar on there. I'm just super, super fussy and I love a massive amount of salt and vinegar on my chips. I like chips with my salt and vinegar. Do what? They're lovely. These are some of my favourite, the favourite ones, you know. There, look at that. Look. Let's get on to the beast. Get on that fish. I mean, guys, look at that. That batter is cooked perfectly through. That fish, fish is nice and moist. Let's give it a go. Mm. That's so, right. These folks should ditch them because there's nothing better than eating them with, fish, with, your, with your hands. I mean, look at them white flakes in it. Look absolutely spot on. That fish is really moist. Probably one of the nicest fish, piece of fish I've had for 
a long time. That's, that's just that the little bit extra extra class, guys. That's that's spot on. Trace peas. So these are all my peas. I can see straight away. These are all my peas. Again, they're really, really nice. For me, just a little bit more salt and pepper, but that's only because I'm really eye on the uh, the salt and pepper. I, I actually, <laughs> believe it or not, when you look at, when you look at the size of me, you probably think I should be on a diet. Yes, I should be on a diet. We'll, we'll, I'll agree there. But I should be on sort of low salt and all that stuff. I'm actually, I've actually been told to increase my salt levels, so everything needs a little bit extra salt for me as well. So, but yeah, that's lovely. I'm gonna dip a chip into this tartar sauce. It's probably illegal to dip dip a chip into it. It should be the fish. Oh, it's a clean tartar sauce. That's a, I'm not a massive tartar sauce fan, so it needs to be really, 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 really clean. Really, really, it should have that sharpness to it, the right amount of crunch in it. Um, for me, I'd go a little bit less chopped up, a little bit more chunky, a little bit of a chunkier chop for me personally. But the flavour is bang on. That is absolutely spot on. So well done, guys. Um, I said normally I find I find them quite heavy and quite greasy, um, but that is spot on. It's got the right amount, um, right amount of sharpness to it and acidity, so that's really good. So it cleans the palate as well. And I do love. I'm gonna put a bit of fish in it. Oh, I've lost the fish. <laughs> let's get it. It's rest grip. Let's get a bit of batter as well. Don't. Let's get this little end piece for you. Let's chuck it in. That's just meant for me. And what I love as well is it is how it's uh, your coolness of the batter. So that's lovely. I'm going to be all day testing these. So that so far, I think, has probably been the best fish and chips I've had on the review so far. That is spot on. So guys, well done. So I'm looking forward to tackling that in a few minutes. Let's have a look at this little treat. And this is a surprise. So, as you've got, you, you, you've got spectators here watching, you, watching the, uh, the cheese coming out. So my little girl's called Els, just in case anybody didn't know what my little girl is. Um, yes, you've got people watching the cheese string. Marvellous. Right, so I have to try and remind myself here where we are. Now, I think I'm going to struggle a little bit with one of these because I'm a little bit of a pussy when it comes to heat. My little girl's whispering in the back, I'll help you. <laughs> um, when it comes to heat, I am a bit of a pussy. So we're going to try these. So these are Taco Tuesdays. So he's got, uh, obviously, your fish, chips, uh, sorry, your fish, mushy peas, tartar sauce. That, I think, is going to be beautiful. We've also got uh, king prawns with chilli, sweet chilli. Uh, no, um, rainbow sauce, he said, sorry, Ellie. Rainbow sauce, he said. Tomato. Yeah, it's a spicy sauce anyway, so I, I think I'm going to be scared. I'm scared of eating that one. And this one, then, is a chicken and a southern fry, their own southern fry coat in, and barbecue sauce i think he said he uses um a middleton southern fried coating so something i haven't tried before so i'm looking forward to, to trying it which one do i go for first do i just go in and get the heat in there and cry like a baby no do I, i'm gonna go for fish and chips first so i can taste them properly right let's give us a go guys let's give us a go this is done this is it's a real good take on i'm making a mess already this, this to me is a really, really good take on um, a modern take on fish and chips. So, you know, maybe, maybe we're going to put some chips in and look underneath. Just mushy peas and fish, yeah. Maybe we're going to put a couple of chips underneath just, just to make it sing and dance a bit more for me already. I find it a bit bit difficult to hold, but so I, I, may, I may have gone a little bit less mushy peas and a few chips in it. Um, personally, like, but we'll give it a try. That's really, really nice. That's actually beautiful. Let's give it a look. Yeah, guys, that's... I'm going to lose a bit there. Maybe not. That is absolutely wonderful. Yeah, spot on. That's it for me. I got that sauce on my fingers and that's going to burn egg. Not too bad so far. So for me, yep, yeah, I'd probably go a little bit less mushy peas and put a few chips in it as a fish and chip mushy pea dinner type of thing in a taco. 
but that but it's really, really nice actually it's i mean there's no fault with it at all it's just that would be my kind of take on it a little bit um but that is beautiful that's a really really good idea now let's try a southern fried barbecue chicken one it's just i'm excited for these are actually the first tacos i've ever eaten <laughs> i know i'm blind at the times Oh wow. Oh wow, that's good. So, I'm gonna take a chicken piece of chicken out actually. If we can see the inside of that, that has been cooked absolutely wonderful. It's really, it's actually really, really moist and chewy. Mm. Oh wow. That. That barbecue sauce got a bit of smokiness to it as well. It's got a bit of heat behind it as well. Oh well, that's really good. Right, now then. Oh. <laughs> I am nervous about this. I'm seeing chilies, I'm seeing red, you know. Um, oh, don't. Let's just do it, guys. Let's just do it. Right. Ellie, everything in my will is for you, right? <laughs> Let's give it a go. Not too bad, I can feel it starting to go. Let's give another bite. I feel it. Red cabbage, white cup. Wow. <laughs> oh. Yes. <laughs> That's hot. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That is. <laughs> oh, my mouth's on fire. That is hot. Whoa. So, my little girl's probably going to finish out one for me because I'm pushing out on that one. <laughs> That's really good. But yeah, no, do what? That's a really, really, really fantastic modern take on fish mm -hmm. and chips. The fish and chip taco. I love the flavor. The I'm touch and go whether I go for the chicken or the fish and chips because the chicken is really really nice but I do love the textures the crispness of the, the batter is still really crisp it's really really clean on the the tartar sauce a really clean clean taste on the palate the mushy peas it's got a nice soft texture it's just that's that's incredible the chicken's incredible the prawns the flavor is fantastic my mouth is on fire but that's really, really good so that's really, really good so i got some drinks now i got some drinks um give me some cloudy lemonade i don't know if i can taste anything now mind <laughs> my, tongue, my tongue is rearing but you're gonna see cloudy lemonade right i'm gonna thumbs up off the little girl for the cheese as well she's loving the cheese oh, that's cool in the mouth down oh, that's cool in the mouth down Ben Shores. I do like a Ben Shores. I got to be honest. I, I, it's one of my favourite brands for um, fish and chips. Cloudy lemon is lovely. That's marvellous. Oh. The other two cans I got as well. It's Danny Lamb Burdock. For me, I love a Ben Shores Danny Lamb Burdock. Um, personally, I don't think it's brilliant with fish and chips. I think it's a bit, a bit, bit strong for fish and chips. I know a lot of people. A lot of people do like it with fish and chips, um, but my number one go-to with fish and chips, and my mouth is absolutely call a fire brigade. My mouth is burning. Um, the my eyes are watering. On the Ben Shores Shandy for me for fish and chips, the bitter Shandy Ben Shores is probably the go-to. So I'm gonna wrap things up so I can get back and enjoy this and uh, take some painkillers or something. But that's fantastic. Wow, if you look at heat that you're gonna love you're gonna love that. So the fish and chips, as I've started saying on, on the uh, on the reviews, I'm gonna start scoring the fish and chips. So seven is a, is an excellent. Um and obviously seven to ten. Um ending under seven i I may not re review at all. Um but seven is my start of excellence. Um but do you know what? Mm -hmm. I'm getting What's, what's your verdict, Ellie? I'm getting two, two fives, I guess. <laughs> um, so I get 10 off Ellie. 
I got to be honest that oh it's a tight one because I really don't know where to put this one so far it's, it's without shadow of doubt the best one I, I think I've had so far but it's got to be room for improvement somewhere I I don't know if I can improve anyway I'm going to give it a 10 as well Fish Kitchen 1854 you've smashed it you've done a 10 out of 10 well done um Where's the fire extinguisher? <laughs> but guys, you absolutely smashed it. That was perfection in a box. Um, presented really well. Brand is fantastic. Your shop is stunning. Customer service is brilliant. You guys are full worthy of a 10 out of 10. Guys, well done. Um, I'm the Fish and Chip Reviewer. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. See it pop along on Facebook and uh, TikTok and see us as well. And hopefully more, more reviews coming up soon. Take care, guys.